Hey friends, video number two, Stark Scorecard, Cheat Code 5.3D. We're talking about uh, multiplication of decimals using area models and pictorial models. So we'll skip, we'll skip right to it. This is video number two, so please watch video number one first. Maricela used this model to represent one whole. Okay, this is 10. 10 is one in this question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten equals one. Okay. We got it. Which model represents 1.8? Okay, look, 1 equals 1 tenth, right? 1 tenth. This is the tenth place times 10. Does that make sense? Because if you have a dime is 1 tenth of a dollar. So if you have 10 dimes, you're going to have one dollar. If you have ten pennies, a penny is one tenth of a dime. So if you have ten pennies, you have one dime. That's that's what that means. Which model represents? Check it out. Times four. We're going to multiply times four. Okay. This doesn't have anything to do with four. I guess it's this is one, right? And this is point eight. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, yeah, and then four, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. This one is, is again, 1.8, 1.8, okay, I get it. But what is this? This is one, two, three, four. No, it doesn't make sense. This okay, I understand, no, but it's, that would be like dividing. H is our answer. Look, one, 1.8, 1.8. 1.8. 1.8 times 4 is right there. Okay. Another question with the pictorial model, with the area model. All right. This hundredths, because there's a hundred, is the figure shaded represented to reply, uh, multiplying two numbers. Which equation could be represented by the shaded parts of the model? Okay, look. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 out of 10, 4 tenths, and this is 1, 2, th two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is point 0.8, 8 tenths, because this is the tenths place, fourth, uh, tenths place. What's 8 times 4? That's 32, right? Point 0.4 times point 0.8 equals 32, all right? But look, there's two decimal places, so there needs to be one, two. It's 32 hundredths, 0.32 hundredths. So mm, here it is, tenths place, tenths place equals 32 hundredths. We're not dealing with 32 thousandths. This is the thousandths place. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, next question. Jonathan painted, what did he paint? He painted a wall in his bedroom. The length of the wall was 16.6 .6 feet and the height of the wall was 8.4 feet less than the length. What's the area of the wall? Oh, okay, less than. So this is a multi-step problem. 16.6 .6 height less than, so we're gonna go minus 8.4. Six minus four is two. Line up our decimals, because this is addition or subtraction. Borrow from the one, 16 minus eight is eight. Okay, so the wall is 8.2, the height is 8.2. So 16.6 times 8.2, okay. 6 times 2 is 12, carry my 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 6 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Okay, add a 0 for my going over to the tenths place. 48. 48 plus 4 is 52. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 5 is 13. Okay, 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 8 is 11. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 3, 1. How many decimal places do I have in the problem? 2. 
So let's do that. One, two. Here's my decimal. 136. 136 and 12 hundredths, right? Feet. Dang, here it is. We got it. You have to count your decimal places in a multiplication problem, and then your answer, your product, is going to have that same amount of decimal places. Okay, we'll do one more question, and then that will be the last question of the video. Anna bought a new rug for her living room. The width was 4.8 feet. 4.8 feet. The length was 5.4 feet longer than the width. Okay, what is the area of the rug? So now we have to do the addition problem before the multiplication problem. Because here's the rug. 4.8, okay? And then this is 4.8 plus 5.4. We have to do that first. Then we have to multiply to get the area. 5.4. Okay, so we'll add that. 12, carry over, and that would be 10. 5, all right. So here's our decimal, 10.2. The width was 4.8, and the length was 5.4 feet longer than the width. So 4.8 times uh, 10.2. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Tens place. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 6, 9, 8, 4. Okay? We have two decimal places in the problem. Two decimal places in the problem, so that means we're going to have two decimal places in our answer. 1, 2. Our answer is 48.96 square feet. Here it is. Awesome. All right, guys, hope that this video was helpful. Uh, let me know whatever I can do for you. Thanks so much.